the Ruby of Fire, a great energy condenser of unknown origin, used by humans throughout Eltia's history as both a symbol of power and a catalyst to exert control over all within their reach and beyond. Through abuse of this artifact, our world was made susceptible to corrupting influences from other realms. Now that we are without a necromancer, using its dangerous power to command the undead minions left behind by Zanara is the only option we have left if we want to have a chance to vanquish the imposter, despite our small numbers. But who is she in truth? The uh, the gem in question is also the major MacGuffin in almost all of the uh, campaigns, uh, including Heir to the Throne and, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the one with uh, Jevian. Um, if, if either of those leaders had realized they could use it to summon and control undead, they'd probably be quite chuffed. Um, but they didn't, and so here we are. Up to this point, I have broken more rules than is acceptable for any elf or human. First, the ruby. Then, I chose Argan of all people to be my ally and lover, and asked him to help me learn to use the artifact's power more effectively. I asked him to teach me the basics of this forbidden magic, and only my fear deterred me from delving deeper. I did not, I probably wouldn't be here writing these words. Then I joined the Empire of Wesnoth as an advisor, against the wishes of the Kalyan, who only realized the benefits much later. But eventually I was betrayed by the humans. I turned my back on the world and unknowingly left my kinsmen in Wesmere to be caught in Jangor's trap at the onset of the end. Perhaps if I hadn't broken so many rules before, none of that would ever have come to pass. Our alliance with Malkeshar in this era was not my choice, however. Galas and Anlinde knew well what it entailed, and opted for a desperate solution to a desperate situation. But now, I appear to be following the same logic, commanding the dead with a power that was meant to be purged from this world long ago. It seems selfish, and others could misinterpret my actions. I no longer command the Union, and now I'm about to confront our enemy while leading my own army of darkness. The Union turned out to be a, kind of a damn squib in the end. Um, you get control of the Union for all of what, like half of one scenario and then the first few rounds of another. Um, still, nice to have it when you have it. It would be no exaggeration to say that the true Lady of Light is in fact another imposter. Ooh, deep. Someday, all this will be over, and I will be able to distance myself from civilization again. But for now, I must fight, and afterwards I must recover that journal. Wait, which journal? Oh, um, Mal uh, the Argan's journal? But I thought Malkeshar gave it to you. Did he give it to Malzanara? But she's dead. I don't know whose journal she's talking about at this point. Um, anyway, episode 2 of After the Storm, scenario 8, and then there was chaos. Sirs, the imposter has arrived with her army. The northern defense line is... Ha ha! That is no army! I thought the northern elves would be more kind to their so-called savior! Ha! Behold! The usurper arrived to challenge us in our own headquarters. What a pitiful effort. To arms. Take her down and bring me her head and the staff she stole from me. Yes, my lady. As you command, my lady. They seem quite loyal to her, despite the state of their home. Indeed. Something is seriously amiss about these elves. If only we could prove she is the imposter, perhaps they would then listen to reason. What do you suggest, my lady, uh, Alinea? Stay clear of her and allow me to confront her by myself. Very well. Uh, a 
another one-on-one -on -one fight required. Ah, oh, so tedious. Um, and then you must defeat the, defeat the false Lady of Light by herself. Defeat all other enemy leaders. Okay. Um, so, Alinea, Anya, and Durban will have to survive. Um, we've got... What have we got? We've got Lady of Light as a blue leader. We've got Kairos Aganan, the green leader. Um, he's a Chaos Lawkeeper. And we've got a Gut Wrencher Imp. Yeah, this is... Yeah, in, in no way is this a random army of Chaos. No, no, this is totally... Uh, totally the leader. And it, it, what? An Ancient Lich? Random Ancient Lich. This is something I kind of dislike about this... Like, this campaign. There, are, This is the second time we've encountered just a random Ancient Lich with no plot relevance. Used to be the, the case that this unit was reserved for the... Um, the you know the BBEG of um, of a final of big campaigns, but no, not anymore. Now we have a situation where we have to fight against four enemy leaders. We've only got two hundred ninety-three gold, which isn't a hugely great amount. Um, hmm. this is this is not looking too optimistic at the moment. Uh, at least I'm not feeling too optimistic. Um, so, how am I going to play this? I'm going to be fighting against mostly elves and chaos troops, and apparently one lich. Um, let's start by recruiting skeletons, because that hasn't served me badly in the past. And I think defending here, just defending in my base. Because the turn limit is good enough, and I've got enough houses. And I'm going to get rushed. Are there any random items lying around? That's rubbish. That's rubbish. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. What's that? More rubbish. Uh, they're, not, they're not keeping their base in good order, are they? Nice temple here. And some nice mine shafts. Oh, I see these are just... It says they're just mountains, so... I will recruit a bat to go and check it out. Um, going around grabbing villages doesn't seem hugely useful in this scenario because there aren't that many villages that can be easily grabbed, unfortunately. I can, I can with, Alinea, with, with Anya though because she's got teleport, so she might as well run forward and capture some of the nearer ones. And Durvin, you just sit in front of my base. Okay, so we're going to start with Skeleton Archers, because if in doubt, recall Skeleton Archers. Every other scenario in uh, After the Storm I've played as a as a single part, I might have to play this one as a two-parter, uh, simply partly for time reasons actually, but also because there's a lot going on here, a lot of enemy leaders. Okay, let's see what the enemies are going to bring my way. Normal Elves, okay, the Undead will do fine against them. Okay, I dislike the purple leader already. Drones and dogs, what an awful horrible combination of units. Okay, and you're going to recruit Chaos rather than Undead. Alright, let's check out this mine. Nothing there. Alright, thought so. You look like you've got some sort of cool cloak on, but it's just the fact that you're behind a turret. There's a level 3 war drone here, just randomly chilling in the back of Black's base. Um, gotta make sure I remember that that's there. Otherwise, though, this guy's recruiting horsey horsemen, and uh, they're kind of crummy when it comes to fighting. So I can put Alinea here. Don't think she'll die. 
sorry, Anya. I've just called her linear again. Well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these archers and skeletons. Some of them are gonna go. Quite a lot of them are gonna go into the hills here. They're not fast in the hills, but they do have good defense there. I don't have much gold left. How much does the enemy have? Also not very much. Um, two teams here, interestingly. Base defenses until kills hold. Um, so black player is almost out of gold, that's good. Um, blue player also is almost out of gold, and green and purple have a bit left. They should all run out this turn though. Right, what's good against... so my my skeletons are good against all of this stuff except invokers and demons and also these drones. So what's good at killing drones? Sprites are good at killing drones. So let's recruit our least experienced sprites. Um, and now I can afford five big hench recalls. I will need some hench units. Um, but I think maybe the right strategy is just not to recall them yet, to let my income build up a bit more. And then, only then, actually take the fight. Don't want to be... don't want to rush out. So I'll leave that goal to accumulate a little bit. All right, let's see people take a pot shot at Anya. Not to be forgotten that the blue player has quite a lot of random loyals floating around, including some level three units, and including a flipping loyal marshal and a loyal uh, level three horse person. Okay, that hurt. She should level up when the next person attacks her, though. I can get her out of the way of those dogs. Alright, um, they're gonna melee attack her right now, so it's tempting to go for strength, but... I mean, actually the Noctum, the Noctum upgrade at this point is just better. Um, you could go for fire resistance, but, I mean, since you almost never fight enemies that have fire damage in this scenario, in this campaign, I mean, demons are the only ones that do it. Uh, so, I'll go for the Noctum damage. Okay, so that drone guard has already been uh, beaten up, and I can lure some of these stupid horsemen to their deaths. And hopefully, even this starting force that I have should be able to pretty much put paid. Actually, <laughs> it's very, very tempting just to leave Alinea where she is, because um, she... Ah, I know, once again, I mean Anya. Um, because she did such a great job at... Uh, fighting these guys and it's and it's the daytime but she will get attacked by by hounds next time round and I don't like that because even if they lose which they probably will they will deal an awful lot of damage to her so um oh ooh, ooh, okay pull Durban back as well so you just pop out and stand in the woods And then I need skeletons over here to fight the dogs. Can I fix it such that only the only people who the dogs can reach are... Yeah.
Okay, so this is a pretty decent defensive line. One dog can attack. Okay, I don't want that to happen. Put you there. Well, the drone's too slow. I'm gonna wait another turn before recalling my veterans. I'm just gonna stick Ilinia in a position where she can heal this guy. You can get ready to go and grab this village here. Okay. Yeah, Lina's pretty good in the mountains. Anya, 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 Anya. Um, could put her down there. She can only get attacked by one horseman, and probably by this. But this assault drone is going to go for easier pickings. So I'll put her on the front line. Everyone's run out of gold. Green and blue just gradually advancing up the map. Oh, bummer. Okay. Yeah, that means that that can now happen. Oh, my skeletons is going to get defeated by a dog. Go skeleton! Yes! Okay. And you only took, what, like 30 damage? <laughs> no, less! 24 damage. No, although these are basically body units, I can't afford to have them be- Ah, no! Oh, and you got lucky and killed him. Sneaky game plan from Black there. Let's go all the way around the back and into my base through this little passageway. I guess you could capture some villages, but yeah, I'm not going to let that happen, am I? Okay, do want to get this drone out of the way. Good start. Hmm. I won't call it kill it. Put you on this castle on you up here to hold the line. There are no more dogs coming. Oh, there is one! Uh, so infuriating, these stupid little guys. Um, Poor performance there from this sprite. And this skeleton doesn't seem to be very strong. And also needs to hold the line here, so. Don't want to 
come down here with you? Yeah. So that mighty Noctum attack. You must have defenses. Yeah, for some reason you've got Arcane and Cold resistance. Well, why not? Right. All I can think of to do here is uh, just recall the henchest units I can and hope for the best. There's plenty of arcane damage around, so the ghost line units are not going to be as useful as they might otherwise be, I think. So I'll probably leave most of them other than the spectre. So now I can either recall two more units, or I can recruit probably three more units, if they're weak. I feel like the recruiting will actually be more useful. Not looking forward to having to fight all those drones with skeletons, that's the only problem. But hopefully my fire fairies and sprites can deal with that. I'm going to get mobbed next turn, and it might not end well. You... Ah, oh, you just... Ah, oh, you little bugger. I'm just about in range there. Maybe I'll wait with you. Capture that village next turn. Unless you capture it this turn, but you'll probably be more likely to go in for the, in for the combat. So let's, let's, let's see. Blue is almost at the front lines. Green is getting there too, though Green's troops are a little on the slow side. And I'm gonna have to watch out for those invokers. And for that one for those two demons. But they'll have a one demon, which will be fine. This is a bad tactical choice from this dog because it's fighting on a mountain, and uh, dogs don't get good defences on mountains, whereas skeletons do. Still, it's dealing a fair bit of damage. Oh, look at how little damage those skeletons are doing to the drones. That's really sad. And even weakened, you're doing quite a fair bit of damage too. Oh, don't forget the Black Flare with his army of Poigless Horsemen. I think he's gonna kill this guy. Alas, yes. Mm, that seems a bit on the jammy side. Best hope that my veterans can save me. And all of the razor birds have left the field. That's good news, at least. Yeah, you've still got guys around who can reach this village. Oh well, might take it. And it's coming up to night time. Linia herself can reach some of these guys. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember I lost my I lost my good attack and I've, I'm now on fairy fire. Stupid campaign. <laughs> no, 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 I love this campaign. Just get grumpy sometimes. When things don't go my way, and that only got one hit, but at least you're slow. And now you guys 
focus down these. Well, focus down. Okay, you could if you hit with all three, but my, my damage output does not seem to be too fantastic at the moment. you up to up the end here because you're a bit of a glass cannon um if someone attacks you next turn you don't die you should level up but uh, if you get if everyone decides to focus you it won't go well now these forest spirits are they tough enough to survive if i put them out here i'm just hoping i'm just gonna hope that they are I mean, I could put... Your, you'd be on 60%, so that would be a good shout. You don't do much damage, but that's fine. All you need to do is not die for a turn. You're getting dangerously close. I'll, get, I'll leave Anya to deal with you in a bit. You want some health. Mm -hmm. Okay, Devon not doing very well getting kills at the moment. Is there anyone in range who does arcane damage? Only you. So if I keep my spectre over this way... This is where I really wish I had another healer, or at least someone who had leadership. You're not as strong as that other one. Why not? Is this a... Oh, this must be an armoured drone. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And it's still alive. Just... You guys need to be on the front lines. When my when my veterans start getting beaten up, I'll need someone else. Might have to pull back over here. Okay. Great big fat hole in the middle of my line. <sighs> when this mass of losers subsides, hopefully. Wee. Less of that. over here. You can't one-shot this guy, but you can do a fair chunk of hefty damage to him. Oh, 
All right, now you should be rethinking your life choices. get enough health back to warrant doing this. Only if I can make sure to kill this acolyte. Alright, there we go. Uh, no more arcane units in range. So you have a nice Lunch. No. Trouble with the trouble with this is you could take quite a lot of damage on the retaliate, and I'd rather you didn't. But there's not much else I can do over here. I could swap you out for a forest spirit, who's likely to do more... Yeah, the forest spirit's more survivable, so... You've got 60% in the forest, I can just hope you can't be killed... Oh! Oh, how did I not notice you? Oh, okay, that's really bad. Alright, so my spectre's in for some serious pounding next turn. And this, you fail to get the kill, so you can try and do it. Is there any way I can prevent her from accessing, uh, only by only by jumping out in front of my lines, with units that I would rather not lose at this point? Bonk. Oh, come on, that was such a good opportunity as well. Durvan keeps plugging away. So now I could put you out here, but I'm not even sure it will do the job because there's so many fighters. I'm just going to have to hope that her 6-3 damage isn't enough to put my spectre in any serious danger. What I can do is kill this guy, or try to. So I said try to in time, so it worked. Oh, this is not going fantastically. Ah, oh, good, okay. Focusing on the main threat here, clearly. Never too much mind losing skeletons like that. Ow, that hurt though. Durvan needs a bit of healing. Ah! Whoa! Less of that, please. Okay, skeletons are suddenly becoming a singularly poor choice for defending my southern flank. Oh. 
Yep. Ah, oh, you've left him on one health. That's not fair. Now, Anya's just itching to go down and fight this guy over here, but uh, but it's it's not the done thing because I've still got to deal with this guy, and no one else can reach. Not even you. Not not quite. Good work. Now, focus down this invoker, I think. One shot. Got there in the end. Hmm, okay, so, how am I going to deal with this guy being here? Are there any more skirmishes? No, there aren't. That's nice. So if I can spare someone from the front line, which I probably should be able to, um, probably you, because you're already pretty battered. If you go back here, you could even maybe do it yourself. Okay, you couldn't do it yourself, but you didn't do too badly. So... Um, I need to rationalize these lines somewhat. Why are these imps? Oh, the imps are really hard to hit on the on forest terrain, aren't they? Okay, well in that case... Hmm. thinking hard here about the optimal positionings. I think I can't spare it. What I, what I can't do is spare a unit to uh, to go after that village. But what I can do is put a linear on the front lines. Oh, that didn't go well. You come back one, you come through here. And over here, if, my, if one of my forest spirits can survive being put on flat ground for a turn, okay, not perfect but not terrible, you're still here, you'll still be able to come and, oh no, there's one of you too. <laughs> Um, I don't really want to be outflanked on both sides, though I do have, I'm, I'm starting to get control of things on that flank, so I'll just put you there. I don't mind an imp being on the front line, because I can't damage them very much, but neither can they damage me. Um, you're actually going to nip through here. That was good. Okay, now I'm worried about my spectre. But I'm just hoping that blue is going to dump a stupid pointless unit here. Uh, and then I'll be okay. But uh, I'm running dangerously low on fodder. And I'm probably going to lose at least this guy next turn. And I don't have control of this house. I could have just plonked... I could have... Oh, he, this person hasn't attacked yet. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Well, that was a no-brainer. Is there, are these guys letting up at all? I mean, it seems like blue and green... It seems like um, purple and black are almost spent. There's only three drones here from purple. There's a horseman and an archer and an invader from black. Um, blue's got four units. Green is the big threat. And green also has units that can deal damage to my undead. But it's coming up to the daytime, so maybe... Not you two. Well, I won't deny this looks bad. I might even have to bring you out to the front lines to help me fight off this incursion. Quite a lot of units here still that can do arcane damage. Ah! Oh. And you're rubbish now. Okay. Can I kill you with if I kill you with um, with Durvan, does that mean that Durvan will die? <laughs> Probably. Or Durvan could just not hit enough to kill you. That's also a possibility. And then next turn I can die. Uh... Okay, uh, Anya does a crummy job again. fighters. I... The Lady of Light! Why? Oh. Okay, so now... Blue also has been pretty much neutered up here, and green is very much my main threat. Should I pull some of these skeletons, but I'm going to pull you back to get healing. Not a great showing there from our sprite friend. Okay, so, once again, blue, purple's got two drones, black's got a Chaos Raider and a Chaos Invader, blue's got some fighters, a fighter who can't reach, and a, an acolyte who's slowed and weakened, 
Um, a green is currently the threat. Um, a green has a lot of units that can deal damage to this army, unfortunately. So we probably we might take some big casualties. My main concern is is for Durban. Let's see. Durban's fine, but good thing it's the daytime. Not the smartest thing you could have done, is it? Alright, well, I'm not dead yet. Need to clean up these invokers. Need to strengthen this flank in particular. Okay, so Alinea, you come over here. Alright, oh, that really hurt. Maybe I can spare you on this flank, and then you can go into the woods. Just pull you back for now. Bonk. There we go. There's the bonk. Stuff. Now that Tan, now that um, Anya's a bit of a beast, I call it Tanya. There, I did that before, didn't I? Um, okay, there's a drone here. There is heavily weakened poor old Durvan, who's going to go back and get some healing. If I could get you to a level, that would be nice. But I don't think, and I think you're going to die as well next turn. I haven't lost any veterans yet, but I think, I kind of feel like it's only a matter of time, unfortunately. I do need you here. I need you to take out the last remaining runner drone. Which you failed to do, miserably. Uh, and it's not even the last remaining one, there's another one. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now what about you? Um, question is, do I bring you to the front lines, or do I leave you where you are and get and wait for you to get some more health? I think actually the health is probably the priority for you. So I'm gonna. Can you move? Ugh. Okay, you'll have to go to a house. And you kill this lady here. and then don't get killed in return. Right. There we go. Rip. Oh, go away. Now with this few units left, 
one concern is whether I can actually kill the enemy fast enough to stop them from just respawning and continuing to send units my way. Well, let's hope so. Good. You probably need to stay where you are for another turn. I wasn't even expecting that to work that well. Okay, should I go around the flank with Durban? I can expect him to survive that, I think. And then you should stand in the front lines, because there's no arcane units left around. Try and kill this guy. It's a shame you didn't succeed, but Anya can... Knock out that guy. Hopefully you... Curse my subtly subpar damage. Um... So then I think it's finally time for Durbin to deal with this... In... There we go, and Marksman shows its worth. All right, this isn't looking so bad all of a sudden. <laughs> Though I have to say it's not looking great either, and I'm not going to be able to move out next turn. And my income's not great still. Black player decides he doesn't like Anya at all. Black players have a little bit of chance to regain income, so... Hmm, okay. You're ready to fight again. Okay, you did manage it, and you're quite close to another level, which is nice. <laughs> it's a shame that you can't quite reach. Bloody fairy fire attack. Okay, at least you were able to get the kill. Just gotta be a bit careful with blacks units. Especially with Anya, who is strong, but not strong enough to be able to survive absolutely anything. How good at defense are you on mountains? Oh, you're you're right anywhere, really.
Okay. We're not gonna be even likely to hit that. Good, we've got a bone shooter, so our one <laughs> remaining fodder skeleton is now a bone shooter. So, question is now whether we go for this demon. Um, we put Anya on 60% defense, and I think probably want to go for this guy. Let's see if I can kill him. Or is he going to get killed if he goes out there? It's a distinct possibility with these three units around. If I get, if I roll badly, especially with the fire damage, I'll try it. Oh rubbish! Okay, and now you can't quite be killed, not even by Anya. Especially not if Anya rolls like that. Okay, right now, Anya, please don't die, because that will be sad. Ow! 60% defense, people! Whew! Alright. So, now... Good, very good. Oh no, you're not even close to being able to do what's needed. And now no one can reach Anya. Subpar performance from Durban. It could be worse though. Tempted to go at you in the forest. How many defensive units? Ah, okay, so there's a, an enforcer drone that will come out if I try and do that. And over here, um, I feel like the strategy is to. Um, so maybe, maybe I can. Maybe it's not a bad idea to lure that guy out. Enforcer drones are not the worst. Now this demon, if it wants to come out and attack someone, I guess it could do worse than attacking my dryad. And as for you, you want to go and get into a healing position. Okay, a little bit weak there from uh... They're just trying to be annoying at this point. Again, good 50% defense there. Hmm. 
Okay, so the Enforcer Drone is out. Didn't do any damage last turn. Um, Durvan is looking pretty dead. Um, before I proceed, I have to clean house a bit. Good, we got another fire fairy on the way if I don't fudge this up too badly. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um, no damage, no slow, no nothing. Um, and it would be putting herself in the way of a very high chance to get herself killed if she did that. I have a dream, and the dream is to kill this guy with Turvan. And if this fails, it would be an honourable death, I feel. Whew. <laughs> you know, those first two attacks, I wasn't too confident. But now, okay, Durban's got a level, he's a bit tankier. Um... Damage from you. There's a war drone here. And I've got 27 turns left. That at least is something. Okay, Anya, you cannot be killed by this dude. Don't want to use you. Alright, then you stay where you are. Um, can you lure out... You might be able to lure out the Lich, actually. If he's a dumbass, he'll come over here and fight you. But my units aren't really in the right position for that yet. So I'm just gonna put you some more. Hopefully next turn you'll get healing. And I... Ah, dedicated to Elinia Thanadria of Wesmere, Lady of Light and Protector of the Elves of Erdia. Oh, They built a monument in our honour. Need to get some villagers back. Especially need to take them off blue, because blue's spamming out a fighter every turn. Now the rest of this scenario should be relatively straightforward. Basically, our job now is simply to push against the leaders and kill them all. Um, Elinia herself needs to deal with the fake Lady of Light over here. Um, who's quite tanky, it has to be said. Regenerates leadership. I wish I had those abilities. And yeah, we've, got, we've still got some uh, loyal units around the map. Uh, we've still got some occasional level 1 units that are being produced, but uh, on the whole, this looks winnable from here, although it didn't for a long, long while. So I am going to take a break here, and uh, we'll uh, see each other next time. So I've been Eurodruid, signing off.